Good morning, friends, and welcome to the United Lodge of Theosophists of Washington, D.C. We're located in the metropolitan area at 4865 Cordell Avenue, Bethesda, Maryland. This lodge is one of many lodges located in North America, Africa, Asia, and Europe. All the lodges are bound together by one or two central ideas. The universal brotherhood of mankind and unselfish service to humanity. Independent devotion to the cause of theosophy without identification with any particular organization is a key policy of each lodge. The dissemination of the fundamental principles of the philosophy of theosophy and the demonstration of those principles by the practices of its student members is the work that must be performed by each lodge. The ULT postulates and proves that engaging in this work brings about a truer realization of self and a profounder conviction of universal brotherhood. Now self in this context is not to be confused with the individual self or the personal self. The self in this context is an uppercase S, the source, the all. Engaging in this work also develops in its student members a spiritual basis for working together cooperatively. The ULT considers all people who are engaged in the true service of humanity to be theosophists. There are no artificial external barriers to inclusion in the theosophical movement. The Lodge welcomes all those who are in accord with its declared purposes and those who wish to prepare themselves to teach and help others in the pursuit of self-realization and the unification of mankind. And in this context, self is the lowercase s, the personal self, the individual self. We meet every Sunday morning at 11 o'clock for a talk on a subject presented by a theosophical student. A roundtable reading and discussion is held on the first and third Sunday of every month from 12.30 uh, p.m. to 1.30 p.m. This week's talk is on the Antaskarana Bridge. Next week's talk is on the Antipodal Powers of the Mind. Today's reading is from the Voice of the Silence. Voice of Silence. <clears throat> Before the path is entered, thou must destroy thy lunar body Cleanse thy mind body and make clean thy heart. Before thou standest on the threshold of the path, before thou crossest the foremost gate, thou hast to merge the two into the one and sacrifice the personal to self impersonal and thus destroy the path between the two. Thou hast to be prepared to answer Dharma, the stern law whose voice will ask thee at thy first and thy initial step, hast thou complied with all the rules, O thou of lofty hopes? Hast thou attuned thy heart and mind to the great mind and heart of all mankind? For as the sacred river's roaring voice, whereby all nature's sounds are echoed back, so much, so must the heart of him who in the stream would enter thrill in response to every sigh and thought of all that lives and breathes. Disciples may be likened to the strings of the soul echoing vina. Vina. Mankind unto its sounding board. The hand that sweeps it to the tuneful breath of the great world soul. The string that fails to answer neath the master's touch in dulcet harmony with all the others 
breaks and is cast away. So the collective mind of Lanu Shravakas, they have to be attuned to the Apadiyaya's mind, one with the Oversoul. And today's speaker?